One, a good Saturday morning. Uh, we are continuing to watch Tropical Storm Ian, which is continuing to churn in the Central Caribbean this morning. And again, it, it has an asymmetrical look to it. It is running into a little bit of wind shear from the north, and it is moving to the west at 15 miles per hour, but it's still sustaining itself here. And it has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour with wind gusts of 60 miles per hour as of the latest, uh, latest update from the National Hurricane Center. So right now, the location of this system is about 270 miles south-southeast of Kingston, Jamaica. And the latest track, again, as of 10 a.m. Uh, this morning, it is going to hold on to its tropical storm characteristics as it moves through the Central Caribbean this morning, heading into tomorrow. But it is going to continue to strengthen. It is going to bring tropical storm conditions to Jamaica later on tonight, or later on today, I should say, into early tomorrow morning. And then as we get into your Sunday, afternoon into the evening hours. We do expect this system to then strengthen into a category one hurricane before it moves into or moves over the Cayman Islands, bringing hurricane conditions to that island into our Sunday and also Monday. Now, as we get closer to uh, Monday evening into early Tuesday morning, we do expect it to strengthen into a category three hurricane and potentially clipping a Western Cuban there, bringing hurricane conditions to that country and then continuing to make this turn to the north and then eventually making landfall somewhere along the coast or the west coast of Florida as a major category three hurricane as early as Wednesday morning. And again, this track hasn't changed much since the last update, so we're pretty confident it will eventually make that turn. So as we take a look at the latest tropical models here, pretty good consensus showing it continuing to move through the Central Caribbean and then making that turn over Cuba into Florida. But again, that spread is still pretty large there as to where it will make landfall, but somewhere along uh, coastal Florida as we head into our Wednesday. So as we take a look at what's going on in the atmosphere, here's Ian. It is sustaining itself very well. A cluster of thunderstorms and showers. And again, the convection is very impressive, but it is running into a little bit of dry here, but because it's sustaining itself so well, that dry air really is not affecting it. And the sea surface temperatures, we're talking about bath water here. It is above 80 degrees. Again, you need uh, the sea surface temperatures to be above 80 degrees or even warmer for a tropical system to continue to either sustain itself or continue to strengthen. And the ocean heat content, so this is below the sea surface or the sea surface temperatures. We're looking at deep water here. It is very warm, so you have that heat potential. You have that energy for this system to continue to strengthen. And keep in mind, we haven't had any systems or tropical systems even track over these areas here, so it has plenty of energy fuel to continue to strengthen. So that's why we're pretty confident as well that this system will eventually become a major hurricane as we head through our Tuesday or even Wednesday. Uh, taking a look at Fiona. Fiona, again, not a threat to us. It actually made landfall in Nova Scotia during the overnight hours. And as you can see that it is displaced the, the convection and it's not looking very impressive on satellite imagery, but it's still packing strong winds of 80 miles per hour as it continues to move over the Canadian Maritimes with gusts of 100 miles per hour. And it is moving to the north at 20 mi 25 miles per hour. So it is moving pretty fast. And the latest track from the National Hurricane Center continues it to the north and it's going to continue to dissipate as we go through the rest of the weekend heading into the first half of next week. Now we're also looking at two other areas as well, two named storms. We have Gaston, which is uh, running into a hostile environment and it is bringing uh, tropical storm conditions to the Azores uh, this morning. And then we have Hermine really hugging the coast of Africa and that's uh, we're expecting that system to continue to pull to the north and it is a tropical storm there. And then we have another area we're watching in the center Central Atlantic Basin that has a very low chance of tropical development as we go through again the next several days or so.